Hey, this is YBR with BMG Drive, and we're going to do some of you guys' favorite stuff right now. We're going to bring out the H-Cube. I know you guys love the H-Cube, because every time I bring it out or mention it, you guys always got more uh, ideas of things to do with it. So, it's like every time, there's just some new ideas, some new ideas, so we're going to use it. We're going to right here, small grid pure. I don't know what was up with the camera, but I fixed it now. Everything should be okay. Yep, seems like it's good. So, we're going to need two vehicles here. We're going to do a collision at, oh, 1,000 miles per hour, so... And uh, that is, of course, assuming the HQ speedometer is correct. Now, it doesn't have any wheels, so I'm assuming that speedometer would have to be based off of airspeed, so it's probably accurate, but I'm not sure on that. I'm hoping it's accurate, though. So, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to take these both off at 1,000 miles per hour. The reason we have two of them will be explained in a minute. But uh, we have two of them. We can go to normal speed now. And we're going to let them both take off, and we're going to wait for them to get to about, oh, 1,000 miles per hour. The reason I have two of them is so I keep them both near each other so I can put the car in front of the H-Cube. Because otherwise I would lose track of the, the H-Cube and I wouldn't be able to put a car in front of it. And once they reach 1,000 miles per hour, I can figure physics, throw a car in front of the, uh, one of the H-Cubes, and see exactly what happens. And uh, we're reaching 800, so we'll be at 1,000 soon. Now, I will not do a crash faster than 1,000, because at that point it, just, it, it gets absurd. I think 1,000 miles per hour is more than enough. How about 1,100 even? All right, right there, that should be good. So we're gonna go 100 times slower. Then we're gonna freeze physics after things are already 100 times slower. We're gonna make this into a uh, Grand Marshal, just a normal, normal car, right? There we go, working good, working good. And we're just gonna set it directly in front of this cube. Making funny noises, the cube. Like, so maybe we can move it over just a smidge, actually. About right there. Okay, good. That should be good. Now we're going to lower it. Mm, lower it a little more. It's hard to do this camera alignment stuff like this, but that, that should be okay. I mean, it's a little bit in the ground, but that's okay. And this is going at 100 times slower already. You see that? And we're going to unfreeze. And it's, it's probably going to be fast, I'm, I'm thinking. So let's just see if we can see anything. What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. How did that, what? I don't even, I don't know exactly what's just happened there. Try it again. Um. Okay, we'll try lining it up while it's already in slumber, maybe. So we see the h cubes moving. And what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, say, okay, line up with it. Fly way ahead of it, and then set a car there. Kind of in the ground, but that's still going to miss, isn't it? It's gonna miss! Try again! That's too high! Oh my goodness, this is hard. Because if you freeze physics, something crazy happens. I don't even know how to explain it. There we go, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, watch what happens. Wow. Um. It looked like a bullet, basically, traveling through a piece of paper. It didn't even seem to slow down, it just went through a car like that. This car is. Just everything is blown off now, and the HQ barely cared. It just it just kept going. That's wow. And that was at ten a uh, hundred times slower than real time. So that just tells you how fast that was. Now we could probably do it again. There's no reason we can't. We just use a use a different car even. So we bring the car way over to here. Set it right here ish. Assuming the H-Cube is still in motion, is it? Or is it... Oh, what? Oh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, physics broke. Okay, so we could do uh Let's see, I could fix the physics, of course, but um, they did break. So we'll put a mo pull out of Moonhawk. Then we're going to hit J a couple of times to fix physics. Alright, there we go. Physics are fixed, but the car is not lined up. It just tore off the door. The door just went flying. It's just like out of the way of the door. The door just went, oh my goodness, that poor car. All right, put it right here. Make it a fresh one, actually, then set it right there. How's that lined up? Oh, perfect. It just looks like a bullet going through it, and then, it, then the car just explodes. Look at the, the, the way the, the body has separated from everything else. That is what the heck is going on? Why? I, what is that? Alright, now for laughs we should do it at full speed. 
Just do it at full speed and see if you can see anything at all. I'm assuming it's going to be going so fast you won't be able to tell what's going on though. So we'll set it here. Make it fresh. Alright, full speed. Also the last one. Let's do a different car actually if we can have the time. Freeze physics real quick. Covet. With the default on. Okay, good. Full speed. Hopefully this is aligned good enough. And unfreeze. It was flying. The cube was flying so it just went right over. But did you see how fast it was going? It's gone. Wherever it is, it's gone. It's flying in the air now. After plowing through so many cars, it just started to fly. <laughs> so I'm not going to do any more tests that are much faster than that because at this point in time, that speed is already so high, it's kind of just, just it's shredding cars to bits already. We could do this. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Hold on. Uh, let's see if we go this, this, this. And then we should be able to just put it right here into the car, basically. Oh my god. I couldn't even tell what happened. The cube hit the car, though. What is spinning? Is that the tire inside of the car? The tire is now inside of the car. That's not how cars work at all. So, yeah, okay, that breaks things bad. Man, it's fast. That wasn't even at full speed, mind you. And you see, it just, it just disappeared. Again, it just disappears, you know? Watch. Freeze physics. Put it here. Go to this car. And unfreeze physics. You see, it's gone. It's gone. Look, it's gone. Look at it going. And that's after it lost so much speed. So that's what happens when you hit an HQ at a car at ridiculous speeds. The car just basically explodes. I mean, that's pretty much what happens. It goes through it so fast, the cars just kind of explode. Any faster, and it'll probably just be the exact same thing, I'm thinking. Because that's getting to the point where the, ga the physics of the the game physics don't know exactly what to do. Because it just it goes straight through it so fast. It's just like what? Can't keep up. All right, so that's the first test we're doing. Next up is um, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, um, ooh, ooh, I know. We gotta go to grid map for that. There we go. Grid map. All right, so next test. We're going to go here just because it's more stuff to look at. So we're going to do an HQ plus a car, and we're just going to drop the HQ on the cars and maybe onto itself as well. We'll do some stacking. I don't know. But for now, we're just going to get the HQ, and we're going to drop it on some cars. We'll start off at a, a reasonable lightweight, actually, only at 540 kilograms. That's not much. And uh, we'll just drop it on some cars. We'll line it up right about there. That should be good. Bring it up here. Let's see, slow physics. Well, let's see if it's lined up first. Alright, looks lined up, so this time we'll go ahead and spawn it up, spawn the truck fresh. And speeds are not working from there. There we go, they work here though. So we're gonna boom, boom. Eight times slower. Eight times slower, eight times slower, and then a hundred times slower. Watch the truck get crushed, and this is a lightweight one now. I don't know why the camera likes to jiggle like that. There you go, you see, it does, it does a reasonable amount of damage, actually, right there. It's very reasonable. Now, what if you get to the absurd versions, the absurd speeds, you know? Cause, I mean, the absurd weights, the 8,000 kilogram one, you know? And go. Whoops, go. Alright, so, at 8 times slower, it's probably going to hit it at the same speed, but with a ton more force. Don't know what the camera's doing, it just kind of does whatever it wants when this thing hits things. You know, here, let me do this again with the camera focused on the truck, so hopefully it doesn't do such crazy stuff. I'm hoping the camera doesn't freak out as bad here. There we go, we can actually see what's happening now because the camera's not freaking out, and wow. It just kind of eats it. The whole truck just leans towards and gets eaten by the HQ, and it's 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 dead. Basically, it becomes dead. I mean, right, let's go eight times slower. And you see it. Look at it, it's just eating it now. It's like, just look, look, look. It's still getting shredded up, even though it's already crashed, because the HQ is just eating it up. Full speed ahead. Look at what. I don't even know what just happened there. But something just boom exploded in full speed, and then the yeah. You see this? I don't even know if I can have that happen again, but... 
I guess it does happen again. It basically explodes the truck. So we'll do the whole thing in eight times slower so you can see if the explosion happens again. It's not going to happen this time, right? It's not. Oh, well. But you see, the HQ pretty much obliterates the whole part of the truck that it hits. It doesn't hit the whole truck, though. So some of it gets to live. We can always use a different car, though. So we use the rally edition of this, or the race edition, which both have roll cages, I believe. So it's a little bit strengthened, but um, I don't think it's the HQ will care much. I think it's just going to say goodbye. Oh my goodness. And if only eight times slower works. Sometimes, like, I was on the wrong car, so it didn't work. But, wow. Let's hope that happens again just like that. Hundred times slower. And it just obliterates it. You see, even in slow-mo, you don't know exactly what happens. It's just the car's like, I'm being obliterated. And then, boom. Eight times slower. You st like, look at it. that was just, it's just all of a sudden the it, things just explode and you just get this blob of destruction. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's not a car. It's not a car at all. It's dead. That's what it is. You use it on the bow line too. Why not? We'll use it on everything. Next. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. The whole back end of the car is gone. Look at it, it's eating the car. Like you listen, it sounds like it's munching on it, you know? That one actually managed to hold up somewhat. Oh, now it's exploding. It actually held up a bit though. How about if I do it again? That time you see it did not hold up. It just got launched into the air. And there's just a mess of Everything. It's just a mess. Alright, what if we use a little bit lighter of a cube? Because that one is a bit of an overkill. Huh? Oh, the HQ camera was inside the car. That was, was confusing me. Alright, so we're going to freeze physics, reset it. Make a li little bit lighter weight. You know, one, uh, one that's about two tons, I guess. You roughly convert it. Very, very roughly, mind you. Alright, so actually, let's reset that so you can actually see what's going on. I couldn't figure out which car had the slum on it. The cube does, though. Before, it was just a car, so I wasn't sure. Alright, so eight times slower. See, that one's reasonable. At uh, 2,000 kilograms, when things crash like that, it looks reasonable. It's like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. It doesn't just explode onto itself like the other like the other weight does. The other weight just goes boom. So if you have Grand Marshal right here, you know, just, like, I'm just using stock cars here because it's, um, it's a matter of things holding up. Like, if there's one little thing with the... I mean, no matter what you use, the cars are going to explode, is what I'm saying, right? So I'm just using stock cars here so you know that it's not the car's fault that everything's exploding. It is the cube making everything just go boom. That's why I'm using stock cars. Oh, jeez. Too slow. Try again. All right, here we go. So it's going to hit mostly in the trunk. 100 times slower. So, yeah. 2,000 pounds, that's fine. Eight th I mean kilograms, excuse me. 8,000 kilograms though, no good. Just too much. 2,000 though? It's realistic. I mean, I mean, oh wait, maybe it'll eat a little bit. So it eats it a little bit, but it's not as bad as like the 8,000 where it just, it just, it shreds the car. See this one, it, it ate the wheel off and broke physics of everything. Broke the bumper in half. It's always trippy when something like that happens. Like how does it get broken right there in half? That is unnatural, something you'll probably never see normally. So yeah. Let's uh let's do one more car here. We'll put the uh because I like doing this kind of stuff where you put the covet and get it crushed in the back end. You go like this, you know. And you have a front wheel drive car that's everything else is crushed, that's always fun. At least for me. I love that. It's just the most like to me that's the only advantage of front wheel drive, you know? It's like what's the advantage? Economy. I don't care. You know. Now, if you get, if your rearing could be crushed and you can still drive, I might care about that. That sounds pretty useful. So, oh, this was the wrong car for slow-mo, unfortunately. Let me uh, do it again so you can see it on this car, which has slow-mo on it. See? You have to be on, like, a certain car for slow-mo to work. Oh, no! It's not backed up enough. Reset the cube. Go to reverse. Oh, parking brake's on. 
Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. All right, stop. All right, hopefully that'll work. Oh, no, it's going to crush the front. Go forward. There's no time. Go forward. Quick, quick, quick. No, it's not going to make it. Oh, well. Watch it get crushed anyways. See, but 2,000 pounds, it looks realistic. Or at least, you know, somewhat realistic. It has some problems. I'm assuming one pound, one weight down would have no problems. See, like this one, it did get stuck inside of it. Reset. Back it up. There you go. I just wanted to crush it just like that. Ha <laughs> ha. Is the front end still good? It still drives. That's what I wanted. Get the key out the way. I like that. Look at that. Doesn't drive at all. Oh, parking brake's on. That's all. I love doing that. I don't know why. It's just one of those things I love doing. Just making a car look stupid like that. Because half of it's wrecked. So let's see. Where's the cube landing? Right there. Got it. So reset the cube. Might have to do it a couple of times to get the car aligned in time, but... Reset cube. Uh-oh. It doesn't churn goods. Reset cube, and you better accelerate. No good, no good. That's broken. So that's two crushes of the cube. It's, uh, yeah. But it doesn't look exploded. It still looks like a car to some extent, because it was a lighter cube. We could do it with a one weight down, because there are still some graphical glitches on that weight, you know? Seems like one weight down might be the, the sweet spot. So, about one ton, basically. Oh, weird. The hitbox for the, 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 the it's, the, there it is, or whatever that, not hitbox, I don't know. Why I said that, but it wasn't lined up. It was just a minor, temporary glitch. That looks like. All right, so I don't know what the game was doing, but it just reset my car when I hit freeze time. So whatever. I'm not sure what the game's doing. It's uh, pulling up. All kinds of crazy things happening, man. Not the these things. I didn't click it the first time. I clicked them on though, so now I gotta click them off. All right, so there's some realistic crushes, and that looks good. There's nothing, like, explosive crazy. Like I said, I figured that weight's fine. Is that on fire? It looks like it's on fire, but it's just a spark, you know? Uh, I wish there was fires. It'd be cool. But that's realisticer, you know? I could see it looking like that if you dropped a real one-ton cube onto something at that height. Where the other ones kind of just explode the car, and that's not what we're looking for. So let's go full speed. And move this out the way. Oh, good dodge. So next up, we're going to do some other things you guys wanted to see. Next uh, is a stack of cubes. And I don't know exactly what will happen here, truthfully. This is a, this is just a weird idea. We'll do a stack of five to start things out. Now, what weight are we going to use? Uh, I don't know. The, the, I don't know what weight we'll use. We'll try, um, try using all 8,000 kilogram ones, right? Now, lining these up to actually stack them isn't going to exactly be the easiest of things. That's the unfortunate news. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be able to stack them up. I mean, there's probably an easier way I don't know of, but the easiest way I know of is to move the camera and then hit S7, and hopefully it's close enough. Like this. What? Just. Okay, it turns out you might not be able to stack 8,000 kilogram H-cubes. That is the conclusion that has led me to, um... Or I might have just spawned it inside of the other one. Let me try that one more time. About right there. Okay, so I probably just spawned it inside of the other one. Nope. Okay, that's weird. One of them makes the other one fly away, the other one doesn't. See, that one's fine. And then this one is bad news. This launches it away. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is that weight... Oh, I know what it might be. Is that one not the right weight? Ah, there we are. That's, wh that's what happens when you put a heavy H-cube on a light one. So there we go. It should work now. Alright, everything works according as I would think. We can now make a pile of H-cubes. Or not. What? I thought they were all... Okay, are they all the same weight or not? This is a this is a 
I, oh, that one's wrong again. How did I do that? Okay. Try number... I don't know. I lost count. One, two. Oh, it fell. I don't know how to make a pile of these things. Oh, now it's inside of the other one. That's not right. Making a pile of H cubes is deemed too difficult for YBR unless there's an easier way to teleport things because the easiest way I know of of placing things like this is not exactly ideal. It's just kind of... They bounce off, you see? Like, even if you have a stack that big so you really can't miss, it kind of just bounces off because you have to have a little bit of height, otherwise it spawns inside of it. So stack of H cubes is no good at all. Let me uh, get out of this and go back in it so we have less stuff there now. Real quickly. So we'll go boom. And go back. So now we're going to do... um, What was it? There's some idea I was going to do... Oh, oh, oh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's cool, I got this. We're going to do UFO versus a, uh, H cube and spinning death modes. Both things will be spinning things of death. And one will probably be inflicting more death than the other. Probably the H-Cube will win this, but we'll see. So set the H-Cube right here. How are we going to make them actually collide? I don't know. I haven't thought that through yet. First we spin the H-Cube. Then we spin the UFO, if I remember the key for it, which I don't. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, so H-Cube has an advantage. So let me actually say reset the H-Cube and get it spinning now. All right, there we go. Now, how are we going to make them collide? Mm, good question. Good question, because this is flying away now. Right. Try this again, okay? Hold on. Spin that up. The other the UFO is spinning up, too. Now, somehow, they got to collide. The UFO keeps taking off. I'm not hitting anything to make it take off. It just takes off. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I know what we could do. Spin the H cube up. Once it gets away, like, if it gets too fast, it kind of just glitches and comes flat. So, like, right there, that's probably good. Freeze things up. We're just going to drop the H cube right on top of the UFO. Because that's what somebody, you know, that's what we want to see is which one will survive, which one will die. So, 100 times slower, hopefully. And that looks like it's working. It is indeed spinning still. Let's see, they are both spinning, and interestingly enough, I managed to make them spin in opposite directions, so that should make the collision as brutal as possible. So, a hundred times slower, it's still coming down. Do eight times slower until they kind of get close. There we go. So, what's going to happen here? That's an actual honest question I cannot answer. All I know is the thing falls slow. It, it's able to generate lift from how fast it's spinning, I guess, and it's just, it doesn't fall that fast. But they're going to collide soon enough. Just give it time. There we go. All right. Here we go. Collision right here, and they're just going through each other. They don't care. They just don't care. Look at that. They don't care. I'm not, the H-Cube is like, I'm going to, oh, and then H-Cube did the attack. H-Cube did the attack on that UFO. UFO has just been crumpled. Look at that. The, it, that was like, um... That was like, you know, it was like an action movie style thing where it's like they invade the place and they blow it up almost, you know? It's just... Alright. So let's go ahead and do 8 times speed again. So how's the UFO? It got smacked and it doesn't, it doesn't quite levitate straight no more, I don't think. But it's still spinning. So it survived. It just didn't look like it was gonna. It looked like it was just it was just gonna get crumpled up. But it it survived. It still flies. It's not quite level. I don't know if that was just because it got pushed off of its axis or if it's damaged. I think it is slightly damaged. But um, it was a good try by the H cube. But I'm pretty sure the UF the UFO actually won because uh well, that's what happened to the H cube when it hit ground. It's not doing so good, is it? Just so let it calm down, stop spinning for a second so you can actually look at it, hopefully. Oh, no, it's not. Well, you can see it went into fourth dimension mode where you can't even see all of its sides. 
It's hyperdimensional now. So, HQ versus UFO? UFO won. Surprising, really. But look, UFO still flies. Like, I don't care. You can't stop me. Now, the next one we're going to do is the HQ versus the tank. And I believe I did this before, but well, we didn't do it a lot. We just did like one quick, boom, look at that. So this one will do it a little more. Don't I have the, the tank installed? Oh, no, I got to install the tank real quick. Hold on. I don't see it. Let me go install the tank real quick. I thought I had it installed, but it turns out I don't. Good news. Tank is here. About to wreck things up. H-Cube's already wrecked up. Let's get a fresh one. Oh, it's going to fall onto the tank. Well, it's actually going to miss, isn't it? That's so, uh, nice and gentle right there. And we'll just, uh, oops. Go, go, get the tank, get the tank, get the, oh, goodness, the tank just ate H-Cube. Oh, God. Tank too good. Or too heavy. It, tank is just, just purely too heavy. Like, it's it's so heavy, it just says, I don't care what you do, I am tank, nothing you can do can stop me. Look, look at that, it just bounces the H-Cube off. That's the 8,000 kilogram version. It just bounces it off. We need more speed, obviously. That's the only solution we can get. Put it right about there, and hopefully it'll be straight enough to make this hit. Lots of speed, lots of speed. Come on, kill that tank. The tank is just unbreakable. Look at that. The tank really is unbreakable. I mean, we went charging at it and everything, and it's just, I don't care about you, little cube. I am the tank, and it just wrecked me up. Look. Look, look at that. It just it doesn't care. We can try putting it on top of the tank, maybe, from a, a distance, but I don't even think that'll uh, really do much good. It's not going to be happy. I mean, you're not going to destroy this tank. That's what I'm saying right here, you. The tank will not be destroyed. Why is the camera flipping out so hard? Calm down. Can't even tell which way I need to move the thing because the camera's flipping out so hard. Okay, we gotta move it. This way. Yep. Tank don't care. That's what happens when you try to beat a tank up with the H-Cube. Tank still wins. So, I'm sure there are more things you guys would love to see with the H-Cube, so um, that's going to be the end of this video with the H-Cube, and if there's uh, anything you want to see, just leave a comment, and I'll do it in uh, you know, another part of doing things with the H-Cube, because, well, man, it seems like you guys love the H-Cube. There's just always something new that you guys come up with that, that could, we, could, we could try, you know? So, um, until next time, this is my BR. I'll see you.